hello guys it seems i am smitten by this 53 model and its variants this model despite of being very small is packed with power and quality i have already covered almost more than dozen variants of this model and i can tell you with all honesty that this model is of very very high quality in this video i am going to show you how you can get installed this 53 small model on your local system and then we will test it out on few of the benchmarks especially around reasoning logic and a math question this 53 small model is of 8k context size and it's a 7 billion parameter model it is quite lightweight state of the art and it is open model trained with 53 data sets that include both synthetic data and the filtered publicly available websites data with a focus on high quality and reasoning dense properties this model comes in two variants 8k and 128k context sizes and as i mentioned earlier in my previous videos the post training process is quite thorough for this model and when the researchers of microsoft assessed this model against benchmarks including common sense language understanding math code long context and logical reasoning this 53 small model showed a robust and state of the art performance among models of the same size and even bit bigger models so i have already discussed in great detail about the training about uh, rest of the properties of this model so i'm not going to go into further details of that what i will do i will straight dive into its installation on our system and for this video i am going to use my trusted ubuntu system 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 22 gpu of vram the 7 billion model hopefully it will fit on my gpu so let's get started first up make sure that you have conda installed i already have it as you can see here conda 24.1.2 if you don't have it i would highly suggest that you get it installed so let me clear the screen this is how I'm creating my Conda environment. I'm just calling it Fire Small. It is going to place everything nice and clean separately. Just press Y here and it is going to install the Conda environment. Let's activate that. Activate Fire Small and you will see that it's present in parentheses on the left hand side. Let's clear it and now let's install the Transformers library from the source from the Git and i will be installing my existing one if there is any and I, we are installing it from source because it's a very new model and it is only supported in this uh, new and version of transformer which hasn't been merged to the pypy model so let's wait for it to get installed it will take a few seconds transformer is done let's also install flash attention numpy and torch Let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. And now let me launch my Python interpreter and we are going to import all of the libraries which we have installed. So you see that I have imported my torch and transformers modules. That is done. Just assign a random seed to the torch library. And now let's specify our model which is Phi3 small 8k instruct and now let's load our model so as you can see i'm just specifying model id and i'm trusting the report code to true with the model id so let me download it and you can see that it is downloading the shards at the moment there are four shards so i'm not sure how big they are i think each one of them should be around 5 gig so make sure that you have around 20 gig of space present on your local system so let's wait for these shards to get downloaded and then we will cross our fingers that it gets loaded onto my gpu the model is downloaded and also thankfully it got fit onto my gpu the last shot was quite smaller as you can see just 352 pack let's verify that we have gpu available so we have the gpu available and i have put the cuda to the device and let's also put the model to that cuda device and that is also done 
let's get the tokenizer for this model and the tokenizer is also done now at this point let me clear my screen and we will do the inference because at this point model installation and configuration is done so here i have specified a prompt template and this is one of the requirement of five three model is that you should have it in this format where you will define the role of user that is you and assistant that is the model so in this one i am asking this uh, model a logical question that if we lay five shirts out in the sun and it takes four hours to dry how long would 20 shirts take to dry explain your reasoning step by step and then assistant is going to answer it so let's put it in the pipeline and then ask that model to generate the uh, output with the help of this pipe let's define some of the hyperparameters like max token and all that stuff temperature for randomness and creativity and now let's execute our pipe to get the output back let's wait for it and we can ignore this warning for now let's print the output there you go so it says the time it takes for the shirts to dry depends on the amount of sunlight and air exposure they receive not the number of shirts amazing well done as long as there is enough space for all 20 shirts to be laid out in the sun and receive adequate sunlight and air exposure they should also take four hours to dry so you see both the logic and reasoning is really supreme sublime and this is the thing with these five three models they they not only are concise but their responses are very logical let me clear the screen and then we will check out another question with this model so in this question i'm just giving it a coding one where i'm asking it to write a ruby script that reads an array of integers and prints a sum of all positive numbers let me put all the pipeline here and it is going to generate the response and we are going to print it there you go it was so quick so this is our whole function which was which is not only concise very very nicely written and it has even given us the example usage amazing stuff let me clear the screen and now let's ask it a maths question i have just given it a maths equation so let's see if it is able to resolve that let's wait for it to come back shouldn't take too long and there you go you see that it's math progress is also very good it has given us the correct answer and not only that but it has also uh, told us as how it has solved it like they need to follow the order of operation which is a parenthesis exponent amazing stuff let's clear the screen and let's finally ask it a sort of a philosophical logical question i'll just scroll up so i'm asking it which one and i'll just press enter here i'm asking it which one came first egg or chicken explain it to a six-year-old let's see what it does let's wait for it to come back there you go it says imagine you have a big box of legos and you want to build a lego house you start with the base and the walls finally you put on the roof and all that stuff and then you see it says now let's think about the chicken and the egg a long long time ago there was a bird that was almost like a chicken but not quite this bird laid an egg and inside that egg a baby chicken started to grow when the baby chicken was ready it hatched from the egg and then it is repeating its response but amazing oh no no, no it is a different one but you see i hope this helps you understand buddy how good is that really really amazing model very very impressed by it by the way so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about these five models i have covered heaps of them by now um if you are using it for any use case let me know very keen to know about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot and the code which i have used you can find it on their model most of it on their hugging face model card if you face any issue let me know i'll be happy to happy to help Thanks for watching.